Nadai is a really cool character. I mean, he's probably a more realistic case of what an actual hero would be like in our world. He's really smart, he's one of the only heroes we've seen work closely in tandem with the police, and he's also secretly ripped. Yet his quirk may just be one of the all-time most powerful quirks we've seen in the anime so far. For those of you who haven't been keeping up with My Hero Academia, Nadai's quirk is foresight. And also, please be wary, lots of spoilers in this video. Basically, if he is able to maintain an eyeline and has physically touched someone, he's able to see one hour into the future, watching it like a slideshow from a third-person perspective. But a curious question came up in last week's episode that just really got me thinking. Nainai has this scene where he is scared of his own quirk, because, so far, no matter how far in the future he has gone with his quirk, and no matter how much he has attempted to change said future, it always happens. He's afraid his quirk, Foresight, secretly locks in the future, and he's horrified by that because he now feels responsible for all of the deaths he's basically confirmed, including All Might's and apparently Midoriya's. So today, I want to theorize on what Nidai's quirk actually is, and that it may just be what Nidai fears the most. So let's start pretty simply because this episode is going to get a bit sciencey the further on we go. One of the first red flags we see occurs when Nidai is confiding in Gran Torino. He expresses his fears about his quirk, and Gran Torino says something curious. He says, just don't think about it. Which, by the way, Gran Torino is some terrible advice to be giving to anyone who has to deal with a lot of death and fighting, but secondly begs the question, does Gran Torino know something that Nidai in the audience doesn't? Because let's be honest, if you're hit with a question of what if my quirk decides the future out of the blue, my first response would be, what? Hell no. It really takes some serious thinking to get to the point where you go, uh, maybe just don't think about it, man. Leading me to my actual theory on Night Eye's quirk. First, we have to set up a bit of context. I believe that, for the most part, My Hero Academia's universe follows basically all the same rules our universe does at least in essence. So if that is the case, there is no such thing as fate. Obviously that's a really touchy topic when we're talking about our universe, but we need to establish this rule before we begin talking about how quantum mechanics work. And yes, we are talking about quantum mechanics, and no, I'm no scientist, nor do I pretend to fully or even partially grasp the subject. So take everything I say with a grain of salt and feel free to do your own research. But quantum mechanics are often used to talk about subatomic particles and how they react with space and other particles, which to keep it simple, is really fucking weird. There's this thing called the Higgs boson that gives particles mass at seemingly random intervals, not to mention the worst offender, the Heisenberg Uncertainty Principle, which never allows you to know both the position and momentum of any given electron at the same time. So basically, the rules of quantum mechanics are pretty simple. I'm just kidding, they're fucking insane. But my point is that there is no way to accurately predict anything in the universe with true 100% certainty thanks to quantum mechanics. That's why shows like No Game No Life are fun in theory because the way they win a lot of the time often uses predictions that would have been swayed by quantum mechanics, rendering them very much into the world of pure luck. I think where quantum mechanics is most clearly ignored in anime is in a certain scientific railgun, where the satellite named the tree diagram would monitor each individual molecule in the air to predict weather forecasts, which by the way would be super accurate, but as I've explained, and unlike they advertised, not perfect. Especially the further in the future it tries to predict. So what was I talking about again? Oh yeah, Night Eye. So am I saying that Night Eye's quirk secretly all along was something else? Well, no. I think Nadai was right with what his quirk actually is. He can see into the future. I mean, after all, we've seen many other people with quirks that clearly defy the laws of the universe working with no problem. But here is my argument. 
The universe is always fighting back. I mean, look at Mirio. He can slip through other matter, but when he deactivates his quirk, he comes shooting out. And I think that this is also the case with Night Eye's quirk. You see, there's actually a very famous quantum mechanics thought experiment called Schrodinger's Cat. I'm sure most of you have heard of it. I'm going to oversimplify a bit because his original thought experiment uses half-lives of radiated particles, but basically it goes like this. You lock a cat in a bunker with a bomb that has a 50% chance of going off in exactly one hour. There are no other living things in this bunker and no way to observe the cat. After one hour passes, the only way to know if the cat is alive or dead is to check. So in that weird point of time where you are going to check, technically the cat is in what's called a super state of being both alive and dead. You observing the cat then forces the universe to make a decision. Is the cat alive or is the cat dead? Granted, this is more of a metaphor for decaying particles in quantum mechanics, but it brings up a good point. These events in the future are not decided because of fate. They have been decided because they have been observed. Night Eye's quirk isn't exactly confirming the future. However, the universe's response to Night Eye's quirk is confirming the future. The fact that Night Eye has seen an event occur with his quirk means the universe will make it happen. Which, consequently, does sort of make Night Eye's quirk decide the future. Now, obviously, I know they won't kill off Midoriya because he's the main character of the show. So let's get to a little theory crafting real quick. Night Eye saw Midoriya being hit and blood going everywhere before his tape gets cut off. Which makes me think that this scene is exactly that scene. I think Night Eye simply misinterpreted that as Midoriya dying. However, Night Eye's future doesn't look so good. I think the tape cutting off is a pretty clear indicator that he has no future, which also begs the question. If Night Eye is no longer around to observe, does his previous observations, i.e. the one he had on All Might, still count? I'm not sure actually, but just some food for thought. Thank you guys for watching. If you're watching this video as it is going alive, I am currently at Anime Los Angeles. If you're there as well, I look like this, so if you see me, feel free to come say hi. A huge thank you to my patrons, you guys are my heroes. Speaking of which, if you're interested in seeing how I edit, joining our exclusive Discord, or simply supporting the channel, feel free to join me on Patreon. Make sure you guys share, like, comment, and subscribe. This is Man Man Matt. Make sure you guys say man and go watch that goddamned anime.